Meet the Shenyang J-15, also known as the Flying Shark, China's first operational carrier-based air superiority fighter jet. But behind its sleek design and powerful capabilities lies a controversial history. Welcome to Armory Unveiled. If you're into military tech, aviation, and defense analysis, you're in the right place. We dive deep into the latest gear, greatest machines, and untold stories from around the world. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Got thoughts, questions, or your own rankings? Drop a comment below. I read everyone and love hearing from you. Now let's get into it. In the early 2000s, China sought to enhance the combat effectiveness of the People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force. Their goal? Acquire advanced naval fighters for deployment on their new aircraft carriers. They turned to Russia's Sukhoi Su-33, a navalized variant of the famed Su-27. In 2001, China reportedly acquired an unfinished Su-33 prototype from Ukraine. Then in 2006, they placed an order for two Su-33s from Russia for testing and evaluation. Talks even included a potential deal for up to 48 aircraft, but negotiations soon fell apart. China wanted to reduce reliance on Russian parts, while Russia insisted on maintaining a profitable stake in upgrades and future support. With talks stalled, China took matters into its own hands. Using the Ukrainian Su-33 prototype as a base, China began developing what would later become the J-15. Russia accused China of violating intellectual property agreements, claiming the J-15 was a reverse-engineered copy of the Su-33. As a result, military aviation sales between the two countries temporarily halted in 2006. Nonetheless, China pressed on. The J-15 made its maiden flight in 2009 and officially entered service in 2013 with the Chinese Navy. Deployed on China's Liaoning and Shandong aircraft carriers, the J-15 is now produced in significant numbers. By 2021, over 50 units were in service, with an additional 55 ordered for the Fujian, China's third aircraft carrier equipped with electromagnetic catapults. Though based on the Su-33 design, the J-15 features indigenous Chinese components, engines, weapons, and advanced radar systems. In fact, it shares many design traits with the J-11, itself based on the Su-27 airframe. Compared to the Russian Su-33, the Flying Shark boasts improved performance. Top speed, 2,940 km per hour versus 2,300 km per hour. Range, 3,500 km versus 3,000 km. Service ceiling, 20 km versus 17 km. However, Russian officials have criticized the J-15 claiming it lacks the sophistication of the Su-33, especially in avionics and weapon systems, a claim China contests. The J-15 is armed with a range of weapons, including PL-12 medium-range air-to-air missiles, PL-7, PL-8, and PL-9 short-range missiles. It's also reportedly compatible with US-made AIM-9L-M missiles and various guided bombs. Some variants are equipped with in-flight refueling probes to extend range, a feature essential for carrier operations. According to the aircraft's chief designer, the J-15 is capable of rivaling not just the Su-33, but also Western fighters like the Eurofighter Typhoon and F-A-18E Super Hornet. Yet he acknowledges the jet's weaknesses, especially in electronic systems and the reliability of the WS-10A Taihang turbofan engines which still lag behind Russian counterparts. There are multiple versions of the Flying Shark. J-15, the original single-seat model, first flown in 2009, entered service in 2013. J-15S, a two-seat combat trainer, first flown in 2012. J-15D, an electronic warfare variant with specialized pods and missile capability. Testing began in 2018. J-15T, a prototype with catapult-assisted takeoff, developed for carriers with EM-ALS launch systems. J-15B, a new and improved version with a redesigned airframe, ASA radar, stealth coatings, and compatibility with advanced PL-10 and PL-15 missiles. J-15G, believed to be a designation for a further upgraded model, possibly a continuation of the J-15B line. 
For years, the J-15 was China's only carrier-based fighter. But now, new stealth carrier jets are rumored to be in development, signaling the next step in China's ambitions at sea. The Flying Shark may have started in controversy, but it's now a cornerstone of China's growing naval air power, poised to challenge the world's best in carrier-based aviation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. Got thoughts or questions? Drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think.